Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Miss Smith88. So today I have a Yankee candle haul for you guys. I can barely lift up the big one, it's heavy. So recently, I know I'm late posting this, but recently Yankee Candle had their anniversary sale where they had candles 60% off. So that was an excellent price. I actually had a store credit because I returned a large jar of straw, white strawberry bellini. I had burnt a medium jar in it and I just really wasn't impressed with the throw. Um, I have a review, it's either up already or gonna be posted soon of that and um, just wasn't impressed with it so I didn't even bother burning the large jar, just decided to return it, get a store credit, use the store credit towards the sale prices and grab this stuff. Plus I had a coupon for a free medium Chesapeake Bay candle with purchase. So let me jump in and get started and show you guys what I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with milk cups because during the anniversary sale, candles were 60% off and any other home fragrance I'm pretty sure was 50% off. So I went ahead and I picked up two of the Sweet Morning Rose milk cups. So they look like that gorgeous lavender color. I absolutely love and adore the milk cups. So, um, Never had any issues with milk cups. They always have really good throw. They always work really well. This is a very nice perfumey floral. I really, really like that one. It's definitely not a straight rose scent. Like I said, you get those perfumey undertones on that one. It smells really, really nice. Definitely a good girly all year round scent. So then I picked up floral candy because if you guys seen my glitch sale haul, which I should already have up, floral candy is a dead on dupe to me for the Viva La Juicy perfume. So if you have smelled Viva La Juicy perfume or love Viva La Juicy perfume, definitely get your hands on floral candy. So I went ahead and I picked up two milk cups in that since they were half off because that took them down to $2.50 and you cannot pass up milk cups for $2.50. I was in the outlet this past week and the lady's like, oh, we got new milk cups. And I'm like, yeah, but they're five bucks. And I'm like, that's high for them right now. I will not buy milk cups full price because I do only use these one day. Then I toss the wax out and I keep the containers to refill with vendor wax. So let's see what we have here first wrapped up because everything is wrapped up. It has been unwrapped once because I had a friend over who smelled everything. So this was the free medium jar candle that I got from Chesapeake Bay. I chose to get the Mind and Body Love and Passion Grapefruit Mango. So it looks like that. And oh, hands down of all the Chesapeake Bay candles, this one smells so good. I really wish they would have had this in essential oil because I would have picked this up for my oil diffuser. You definitely get that grapefruit with just the slightest pinch of mango, the grapefruit definitely is the primary note in that one. So I have one more thing that's wrapped up in this little bag and then we will get into the big one. Oh, they had a promo where if you've spent $25, you got a medium jar for $5. So you can't pass up a medium jar for five bucks on top of the anniversary sale and coupons and everything else. So I did pick up a medium candle and this one is in Color Me Happy. Gorgeous golden apricot color. This candle, oh, this smells so good. This reminds me a lot of mango peach salsa. Literally, it could almost be a repackage of mango peach salsa because it's the same color and it smells exactly like. I love mango peach salsa. I love Color Me Happy. If you love mango peach salsa, you would love Color Me Happy. If you love Color Me Happy, you would love mango peach salsa. So that is that. Now we can get into our big bag here. So in our big bag, this is what I purchased separate to be able to get my Chesapeake Bay candle for free. They had this on sale. This is the Yankee Candle Charming Scents Accessorize Your Car. I went ahead and I picked up Sicilian Lemon. I absolutely love the design of this one. I already have one of these in my car, so this is my second one. I'll probably end up putting this one around my gear shift or either giving it to my husband so he has one in his car, but I don't know if he's all about that girly business being up in his car. So let me go ahead and show you guys the rest of what's in here. The rest of what's in here is all large jar candles. 
like I said, these were 60% off. First one here is, I kept going back and forth with this one because I am not the biggest watermelon person. But this is Juicy Watermelon. I figured, you know what, the price is right. Don't let it sit on the shelf. Give it a try, Heather. So, um, Juicy Watermelon. Oh, this smells good. This smells really good. Yes, I may not be the biggest watermelon person, but in small doses, I definitely think that I can handle this one. This one smells super, super strong on cold throw. I definitely hope that that cold throw goes right into warm throw being equally as strong. This smells like a very candied, fake <laughs> watermelon smell. And I'm a-okay with it being a fake watermelon smell because that's what makes it smell so strong compared to like a natural watermelon smell. So once again, that is Juicy Watermelon. Let's unwrap some more candles here. So then I have here, I did pick up the Sweet Morning Rose Candle. It was my first time smelling it in store. I did not think that this fragrance would end up appealing to me at all. So I absolutely love that lavender color. And like I said, this is a very nice perfumey rose scent. I do think that this smells drastically different in candle than it does in Melt Cup. Melt Cup, I feel like I get way more of that perfumey note. In the candle, I feel like I get way more of that rose note. So definitely, if you get the chance to compare them, definitely compare them because they do smell different. Which doesn't surprise me because they are two different wax formulations. So let me set that down. So I have three more candles to show you guys. Oh, this one I had to get. Like this one I had buyers remorse walking out of the store not getting it and I had to go back and get it. This is Yankee Candle. This is a returning classic. I'm pretty sure I already mentioned I've been using Yankee Candle since I was 16. So for like the last 14, 15 years of my life. And Strawberry was one of their classic scents. And I never knew that it went away because I went through a period where I just didn't burn Yankee because they were such duds. And there's still periods where they are duds and that kind of stuff. But at the price point that I'm getting them at, I don't mind so much just having them for ambiance either. So I use them up versus doing constant returns. So like I said, this is Yankee Candle Strawberry. This is the returning classic style. And oh, I love this smell. Oh my gosh. Does it smell like real legit strawberries? No, this is a very fake strawberry scent. Very super, super strong once again. Oh, I really, really love this one. And I hope that this is an awesome burner. I hope that this is super strong and ends up being very fragrant in my house. So there's that one. Two more to show you guys. And these, I believe, are both from the Elevation Collection. Because shockingly, they put the Elevation Collection on sale. I think it was only 50% off and not 60% off. But these rarely go on sale. And this big one is in Magnolia and Lily. I know I did a employee appreciation sale where I showed one of the medium elevations and it was in a linen scent. The wicks were terrible on that one. It did not burn good. I ended up cutting it for my warmers and that scent was amazing. It was so, so strong. These elevation candles are so nice. So like I said, this is Magnolia and Lily. And yes, it smells floral, but it really smells a lot like Herbal Essence Classic in the pink bottle shampoo and conditioner. I really like the smell of this because it literally smells like herbal essence shampoo and conditioner and that's what lured me into purchasing this scent. So then I have one more, like I said it's another Elevation. And this one is in Sweet Nectar Blossom and I mean these are nice. I love these jars. I think these jars are absolutely beautiful. The nice lid. The lid doesn't stick the greatest to the bottom. Yes, it looks nice underneath your candle. So this one is Sweet Nectar Blossom. And oh, this smells really good. This smells like an exotic vanilla. Like, does it smell like a baker's vanilla? No, it smells like a exotic vanilla. Um, Like a Tahitian vanilla. 
I like this fragrance a lot. Does it smell like nectar blossom? No, like I said, it smells like a very ex exotic Tahitian vanilla scent. Definitely look forward to burning these elevations of anything because these tend to be top-notch candles. Yankee definitely did their research when making these. If only all candles were of this quality, would we all be happy? So that is everything that I got from the Yankee Candle Anniversary Sale. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, everyone.